There's only a few days left to grab your cozy Piglin plushie, so make sure to grab yours before the pre-order closes this Thursday. Here with the Let's Play of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Yes! Yes! <laughs> or I guess I should say specific, specifically the Great Ace Attorney 2. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be getting back into this series. Holy crap. I loved the first game. Oh, man. And, and now we're actually getting it in an official uh, capacity here. This is not a uh, fan translation like, like the last one was, uh, which was done by Scarlet Study. And they did do a fantastic job. Um, but this is actually an official Capcom translated version of the game. They finally released it in HD, no less. But people finally get to experience this wonderful freaking game. And like I said, I, I, I think I rated this game out of all my Ace Attorney games it was my second favorite. I, I loved it a ton. I, the only thing that held it back for me was the beginning of the game, which I felt was just a bit too slow. Just shy of Ace Attorney Investigations 2. But I have heard, even before this game was translated, you know I mean? This game ne technically came out many, many years ago. But I did hear from the people who did play uh, through the second game uh, of this series that it is even better than the first one. Like, it's super good. What makes this series so unique and interesting to me is how it is very clearly uh, carrying ideas and themes and characters from his first game. Like I am, there's a lot of things that sort of happen in the first game that don't ever really get explained. For example, in the first fucking case, we have that, that woman who seemingly killed Iris's father and we have no idea why or what the motivations or what was that building up to. The thing with McGundal was still super vague, even by the end, his death. A lot of intentions and motivations were still left unclear. So that's what we're going to be hopefully uh, uncovering this time around. Not to mention some characters like, for example, I believe his name was Vortex or something Vortex, that British guy that like welcomed us when we first arrived uh, in Great Britain. I think he's like the head justice or something. Didn't really play into anything too much in the first game, but I have a distinct feeling he's going to play into something here. But yeah, I love the last game. I've really just been looking forward to, to this game releasing. And of course, I had to release next to Neo The World Ends With You as well. And because I'm in the middle of Strikers, I had to pick between this and Neo The World Ends With You. And well, I mean, no fits to World Ends With You fans, but as I mentioned before, I'm a relatively casual World Ends With You fan, all right? I did enjoy the first game, but I had some issues with it. Um, so if it really came down to, to picking between that game and this one, Grace Attorney all the way, dude. I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. This game, I am legit pumped for. It's Select Adventure. Okay, that's good. Is it? I was I was a little nervous that when I started the game, I was like, that I'd have to play through like the, the entirety of the first game again to get to the second one, but it seems like I, I could just pick it off the bat. Uh, it does seem to come with some special stuff, which uh, I'm probably not going to mess around. Taylor select. Oh, yeah, alternative outfits. I think that was in the, the previous one, too. Uh, Can I actually just wrap right the bat? Oh, look at that. That's cute. Oh, God, this fucking shit. Oh, my God. This is my Yusuke cosplay. Uh, Susatel. Oh my god, that is so... Oh my god, that's so adorable. What the fuck? Shom's Japanese Jumble Mix. By the way, yes, they are in fact going to be calling Sherlock Herlock Shom's in this game, all right? And you better fucking believe I am not calling him that, all right? He is Sherlock, okay? I don't give a fuck what the game says. The only reason they're doing this is because the Conan Doyle family is a bunch of assholes. It might be the same with Iris too. I'm, I'm not really sure or even Gina, but whatever. I'm going to call them by their fucking actual names, all right? Some short extra episodes. Uh, what? What is this shit? What? Man, I should avoid this. This might be, this might contain spoilers or something. Well, I, well, I don't know. This is actually from the first game, seemingly, right? This all seems, yeah. I'm seeing characters from the first game. What? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't I don't think this is something that was in the original game. I don't think. Unless I forgot. Seems like they're like 
things that just happen in between like the major cases. Interesting, it only seems to be the first for the first game, but not the second game. Maybe you have to beat all these for the second game to appear or, or something. Well, I, mean, I could check it out in like a, a side thing. I don't know, man. Maybe I could check it out in like a live stream even. I I, I don't know. It's it's kind of a bummer because like it's like I almost want to check these out, but at the same time, I also don't want to start the let's play to a the sequel and not actually start the let's play to the sequel. So uh it's something we could probably save for another time. Listen to the music. F voice recitals. Ah, uh, we'll hear that in a bit. I, I do, I did hear a little bit of the voice acting from the trailers for this game, and they sounded fucking amazing. It sounded awesome. I, I don't know how much of the game is actually going to be voice acted. Hopefully not too much, because I still want to do some of my own voices. Dude, oh my god, I am so excited to be voicing, like, Naruhodo and Van Zeeks and Iris and Suzudo again. Uh. Oh, wow. Wait, we're off the bat. I can just pick all of them? Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Different music. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So this is the Greatest Attorney Adventures. The Greatest Attorney 2 Resolve. Okay, definitely don't select adventure. So basically, if you select that, it actually shows you all the cases. They're just there. Okay. Unlike the, uh, wait, is there another one? No. Uh, it's <laughs> not a third one, is there? Unlike the other uh, Ace Attorney games, they don't they don't normally, I don't think, show all the cases right from the get-go. Like, you kind of have to unlock them so it's not to spoil you. All right. Let's get started, guys. See what everyone's been up to. How long has it been? Wow, damn. Wow, this looks very pretty. This definitely doesn't standing here in the bright sunshine, looking out over the vast ocean. Those days in London seem like a dream. But I do miss my time in England's vast capital. Oh yeah, she hit it home at the end, didn't she? You know, he's flourished into a truly wonderful lawyer. Aww. I've no doubt that at this very moment, he's fighting some noble cause in court. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Forgive me for taking so long to come to visit you. This is definitely more my than- My life has been such a whirlwind since I returned. An upscaling. And no one could have predicted what has happened. Just two months. After arriving home. I found myself faced with another awful crime. Wait, what the hell? Oh my god, this fucking bitch again? So I came here today to ask something of you. Weird how that was not voiced. Tomorrow, I shall be standing in court. Oh no, somebody else talking, that's the why. Time in my life. I think. As a lawyer. Oh, fuck. We're off the bat? Wait. Oh, fuck. Please, what? Please. I ask for your guidance. Kazuma-sama. Kazuma-sama! Oh, oh my God. Are we starting with fucking Suzudo? <gasps> the Adventure of the Blossoming Attorney. Oh my god, this is already so hype! <laughs> okay. Damn, the, okay, now I can actually talk, say, holy fuck, is this game fucking gorgeous. God damn, dude. I mean, the original already looked really good, and I played like the, it was basically the phone version, right? And it looks really good, but this looks exceptional i swear to god I, it feels like they must have gone in and redone some of these assets like that background that that backdrop it looked like a hand uh hand-drawn painting right where susudo was standing talking to the gravestone uh god damn it looks really good super high res high quality assets august 13th 8 26 a.m supreme court 
of Judicature Judi Defendant's Anti-Chamber Number 3. <laughs> this doesn't coming out the same way as usual. Here I am again after nine months. The Supreme Court of Judicature of Japan. Oh, so we are starting off Japan. That's, uh, that's right. At the very end of the first game, she left. Uh, Susito returned to Japan. I actually couldn't remember if she returned or if she... No, no, no. That's right. She ha she said, I have to go back because she has to check on her father, right? Her father, I believe, was sick. But she said, I am going to come back. She did say she is returning. But that's where the first game ends. She gets on the boat and she leaves. I feel so nervous, but I must steal my nerves and find a way to compose myself. <gasps> Ah, good, you're here. It doesn't do for a lawyer to be late. Oh, yes, um, g good morning, sir. I hardly recognize you. You've got a fine figure, counsel. But you look as white as a sheet. And those wide eyes aren't doing you any favors either. either. Oh, dear. The truth is, I'm so incredibly nervous. I feel utterly nauseated. I almost wish that I'd never been born. Goodness. Not the sort of thing a father hopes to hear from his daughter, I must say. Yujin Mikotoba, professor of medicine at Imperial Yume University. A man who earlier in his life traveled to Great Britain to study the latest advances in forensic medical science. And of course, my brilliant father. Um, um, excuse me. New Wafu! Right off the bat with another female character. Okay, um... Would I be correct in thinking that you are to be my lawyer in court today? Mm oh! Uh, um, yes. Yes, that's right, miss. Hey, I'm playing on PC with controller and I got vi- I got vibration support. That felt good. Well, I, am. Um, I want to thank you for agreeing to represent me. I swear. I swear on my life. It's a complete fabrication! This whole thing! Oh my gosh, she's- Freaking spicy like Maya, isn't she? Uh. Ray Membani. Membani. Mem uh. Ray. <gasps> Remember me. <laughs> Remember me. I was like, is there? It's like, I don't actually think there's uh, any kind of pun. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And I'm immediately brought back to that. Anyone? Is that say a future ROM episode? Remember me. Remember me. Bender. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> born, th born the same year as I and my greatest friend. I would be curious if any major characters, aside from, you know, the ones that are Doyle fucking related, will have any, like, uh, different names. Like, I think Van Zeeks still seems... Uh, we saw him from the trailer, right? He still had the same name. It wasn't different, which is cool. All right. I, I wasn't sure how much of the, you know, the names were taken... Uh, well had a sort of a localization done by Scarlet Study, right? Probably quite a few. I don't know if a lot of the, like, the names maybe for some of the side characters with the funny puns would would necessarily be the same. Like, you know, kind of like how, for Investigation 2, Sebastian DeBest, I don't know if that'd actually be what his name is, if they had an official translation for that game. But, but then again, then again, this game, it doesn't actually take place in Japan most of the time. Most of it actually takes place in Great Britain. So maybe, maybe it did. I don't know. Maybe they did actually have like English names for them. That would make a bit more sense. But I wonder if there was for the Japanese names. That we have very distinctly Japanese characters in a Japanese setting. So we do give, it's all right to give them Japanese names. So I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't as much localization of the names uh, as it was in previous games. Though unusual for a woman in our time, she works at the University Research Laboratory, helping my father. And sadly, she's the defendant in today's trial. Accused of committing a truly awful, awful murder. It's that fucking lady again. What the shit, dude? So we're right off the bat gonna be talking about her again and maybe actually getting some clarification of what the fuck was going on. Are you feeling all right? Since we started talking, you seem, oh well, to have become a little flushed. Uh, oh my, um, well, um, it's just that you look so gallant and dashing. <gasps> oh shit, girl power, let's go. Sorry? And when I fall under your intense gaze, it's, well, it makes you feel rather bashful. Oh my God, let's go. Oh shit. Goodness, I don't think she, I don't think she knows. She hasn't realized who I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it would seem our little plan for this trial is going to work. Oh, what do you mean, Professor Mikotoba? 
If even your best friend can't see through the disguise, I think we can relax. Disguise? Oh my gosh, she's in disguise. We saw that in the in the portrait at the start there, as she was wearing a hat and stuff. I, I I couldn't tell if that was like her or perhaps Gina Lestrade or something. I I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't sure how far they were going if or if like Naruhoda was coming in here. I see. She's actually disguising herself. I guess as a, as a boy. Okay, so never mind. So not not lady loving in this instance here. Yes, I've never tried dressing this way before, of course. So I wasn't sure how convincing it would be. Ah, uh, so it's. So she's her best friend. Gotcha. Oh, this is such a cool setup. Oh my God, I love this. But this does make me feel a little relieved, as you say, Father. F father? What? I is that? Is that you, Suzuto? I'm so sorry I didn't say something sooner, Ray. It's just that. No! What are you doing? What's going on? What? 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 The varsity uniform, the varsity cap, the varsity cape, the varsity badge. Look at you, looking for all the world just like a student of the Imperial Yume University, a male student. I'm so glad you think so. It means all my preparations have been worthwhile. I work, I woke at four this morning to make a start. But, but I don't understand. Why are you just like that? Well, you see. It was the only way. The only way she would be permitted into the Supreme Court is to go on your defense in this trial. Because we sexist as fuck in this time! My... my defense? Never before in my life have I felt so frustrated at having been born into this... into this body. Courts in Japan are barred to women. We're not even allowed to set foot inside the courtroom. Jesus Christ, really? I should not think about it. Yeah, Suzuto did not actually... She was not our sidekick in the in the first case. Sasogi was. It was Sasogi and uh, Naruhoto. Though I think we did meet Suzuto at the start. She just didn't actually like, you know, stand court with us. Despite the fact that the laws of the land apply to all people, male and female alike. But women are forbidden. It's just for today, I'll be leaving my true self at the courtroom door so that I can act as your lawyer. Oh, Suzuto. You go to such lengths for me? Of course, you're my greatest friend. I just worry that I shan't be the lawyer you deserve. Oh no, I have complete faith in you, Ray. It's so strange though. I mean, you're such an accomplished judicial assistant already. And yet just because you're a woman. What a wretched reason. I mean, why shouldn't you be allowed in court? You're so gallant and dashing. <laughs> Um, Ray, please don't look at me like that. With those flushed cheeks and doting eyes. You're so hot! I think I've fallen in love with you! Oh, I I'm sorry. It's just, you really do look so dashing. Y yes, you mentioned that once or t twice. Ha ha ha! Damn! We sure did a good job of making you look like a boy, didn't we, Susano? Okay, Dad, stop. Seriously. You should be pleased. I mean, it means you look convincing as a man. I am pleased, I think. It certainly helped to bolster my confidence today. Ray, you're managing to put on a brave face in all this, but I can see through it. I've noticed how your shoulders are slumped, and how you're trembling ever so slightly. Suzuto, you do believe me, don't you? I didn't do it. I couldn't have. I mean, murder? Of course. You have nothing to worry about. Your conscience is perfectly clean. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes, it is. Perfectly clean. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind about your innocence, which is why I will stand by you until the bitter end in this trial. Till the bitter, horrible end. Whatever happens, I'll always be on your side. Like nationwide! Because that's what it means to be a defense lawyer! Spell with a C! That means so much to me, Susato. <gasps> Defe- Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I was with British bailiff, but technically, it should just be regular bailiff. We're in regular old Japan. But I'm bailiff Kameda's great, 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 great grandfather, go Meta. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. I don't, did I even go with anything? You know what, just whatever. Anyway, Vet Castle, get your ass in there. Course of bad beginning. Proceed the courtroom at once. Or did I just give him a random Larry voice? I don't, I don't even know anymore. You should go go in at once, Ray. 
You're late. The judge won't hesitate to pronounce you guilty. Oh. Stand aside! Yeah! Oh, oh, Jesus, calm down, lady. I don't think I've ever seen her run so fast. Well, Susato, you certainly surprised your father. Going to such lengths to be admitted into the courtroom, and with no prior experience of being a lawyer. There's simply no other way. That's all there is to it. This is actually a really kind of clever way, too, of having having the game teach you again, right, of how to play. Because it'll make a lot more sense that it would be her that she's, like, having to remember, right? And it's not like some dumb shit. Like, remember fucking Ace Attorney 2 where, like, in order to get a tutorial again, we had, like, uh, Phoenix take a giant bump to the head and he forgot everything. God, I hated that shit. I hated that tutorial case. But, Father, you haven't told her, have you? I mean, I'm right in assuming that Ray doesn't know how it came to this. Yes, quite right. I've kept that information from her, and also you, the player. It would only worry her if she found out that no other lawyer would agree to take her case. Oh, well, fuck. I didn't want to burden her with that. And is it true? The reason why every other lawyer is refusing to take the case? Is it really because of who the victim was? We should be making a move now, too. As you know, law isn't my field, but I'll do what I can to support my students. Thank you, Father. Oh my god, can we see her, see her in her little outfit? I'm Susto Mikotoba, a judicial assistant. Eight months ago, I accompanied a student of law on a, stu a study to Great Britain. But two months ago, due to unforeseen circumstances, I found myself back in Japan. How many times have I wished that he were here? I wonder. Still, I have no choice but now to steal myself for the trial ahead. Oh God. Oh God, it's wrong. It's, oh, I know who we're going up against, right? Who else could it possibly fucking be? Wish me luck, Naruhoda-san. Oh boy. Uh, August 13th. Uh, 9 a.m. Supreme Court. Judici judiciary courtroom number one. Wait. Oh, there it is. Text skip. Enable or disable text skipping. Yes. Turn that on. Because, god damn it. Sometimes the shit. Wait. Wait time. Adjust the link time until the next line of dogs is displaying the auto. Oh, that's cool. Uh, text box transparency. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, like moments like that where I'm like, okay, come on. Yup, it's me, of course. Hello, I'm back. Because of course I am. Got the good old uh, previous Oriental judge. Uh, what voice did I give you? Probably something rel relatively on the deeper end. The court is now in session to hear the trial of Ray Mimbani. Remember me. Hello, I'm back. Ouchie. Ow, wait, no, this is, this is the same name he had in the original. I, okay, so that, that some of the names are the same. Oh, that's right. I, I, I was like, he seems different. Uh, am I, or, or am I misremembering? No, I actually just went and looked it back up. He is, his bun, his hair is down. Wow, how consistent. At the very end of the, at the, when we beat him, I think in the uh, original game, he was like, ah, and his hair got blown back. And I think it blew his, like, his knot loose and his hair went down. And he's actually just kept his hair like that. He never changed it. Yes, I am back. Super Samurai fucking Max Payne has returned. And I've decided I'm just gonna let these beautiful locks of mine flow in the breeze at all times. Good luck trying to blow my hair back now this time, bitch. The prosecution is fully ready to proceed, Your Excellency. Oh my God, she's so fucking cute. <laughs> she's standing there like fucking Van Zeeks with a scape in front of her. Defense counsel, are you ready? Also, I went and checked my voice, and yes, this is pretty much the voice I gave this guy, so. Oh, oh good, Daddy, you're gonna be my Asogi for this for this trial. Yes, sir, excellently, we are ready. Y yes! <laughs> now she's doing she's doing uh Oh. She said she actually is impersonating him, I see. So sorry. Oh yes, I had to come up with a suitable name for my for, for you for this little venture. So I'm afraid to say I simply put down the first name that sprung to mind. I, I think, right? No, that's Ryunosuke, not Ryutaro. So, wait, so he's not, she's not pretending to be the same guy, yeah. Ryutaro Naruhodo. Why does she still have the same last name though? I guess the common last name, I don't even know why, I guess, well, I don't know, maybe they'll explain it. Maybe it's just be like, 
She's supposed to be like related to Naruhodo. Well, Council. Um, uh, um, um. <clears throat> this is the voice of a guy pretending to be a girl, pretending to be a guy impression. Here we go. Um, yes, that, that, that's right. That's that's me. I am. Mm, I mean, yes, I am Ryutaro. He was vowed to uphold the pride of the great Naruhodo clan. Ah. It seems Ryutaro might need to consider how better to uphold his manly act first and not to overdo it. And those wild, wide eyes aren't doing you any favors either. Just relax and listen. Naruhodo? Yeah. A fresh face in the courtroom, if I'm not mistaken. But the name Naruhodo, would that perchance be? You may be thinking of Ryunosuke Naruhodo, currently in Britain as part of a study program. This is, um... His cousin! That's right. Ryutaro here has been studying in the provinces. I was called to the capital for this trial. I'm basically... The voice I'm giving Susano right now is basically what my... What my actual old female voices used to sound like. <laughs> I assure you, in matters of law, his knowledge rivals that of any Tokyo's pre preeminent lawyers. Any of them! Uh, he even says tut 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 okay tut 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 what a pitiful situation having been rejected by every lawyer in the capital the accused has had to call in a country boy how dare you so, so is every bit of scound and dashing as any of your tokyo attorneys uh oh i will have you making fun of her her oh um uh. please be careful ray haha <laughs> One unrefined tomboy we have here. But I wonder, is your gallant and dashing lawyer up to the challenge of defending you? I will say, this guy's actually, I, I found even more, even douchier than his fucking successor, Max fucking Payne. Seriously, this guy was such a douchebag in the first game. And he's still a douchebag here. You see that? You see what I did there with the fan? It was cool, right? <laughs> One, I'm happy, and then I'm angry. His wide, skittish eyes very much suggest that he is not. Uh. I'm I'm so nervous. Now that I'm standing in the shoes, I'm starting to understand what Naruhodo's song goes through. Like it or not, us are want to flit. <laughs> All right, everyone, calm the dicks down. The case to be heard in, on this day is a matter of great significance to our national interests. In fact, it would be reasonable to assume that the outcome of this trial may well affect the very future of our empire. Just like the trial nine months ago. Ah, oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. The one that blew my hair back and then made me the ladies man I am today. I can never thank that boy enough. And yet for the proceedings of such importance, we have this unknown yokel by the dock. Dear me. <laughs> Perhaps this will be an appropriate moment for me to assess the defense. Determine whether you are sufficiently competent to practice in this courtroom. Wow, look at this. They're actually even doing the... Uh, they're really going in for this 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 whole British styling of the game, right? Even the the spelling for the words is in the in the British way. The, they spell practice the way they spell defense. It's kind of funny. Like so, we we have defense with an S and practice with a C. They have practice with an S and defense with a C. How about that, right? Nine months ago, when a certain other Naruto stood where you're standing now, this same judge tested him as well. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if her hands will also make a slappy sound when she smacks the desk. <laughs> Initially, that'll be funny. Actually, eh. even though he was just a student at the time, not even a, of law, he passed his test with flying colors. For a trained and experienced judicial assistant like you, this will be easy. So, counsel, do you consent to answering some simple questions? Okay, Susu looks fucking adorable. <laughs> Look at her. Oh my god. She's got some Naoto vibes going on now. All right, it's time to prove myself. Ow! Uh, I don't know why Naruto does that. I mean, I don't know why he don't. I mean, no. Anyway. Yes, Your Excellency. But please do make them simple. Very well. To start with, you will state the name of the victim. Ooh, that, is, that is simple. I could, couldn't forget that that if I tried. Uh. What's the matter? Now that I'm standing in his shoes, I'm starting to understand something else Naruhodo-san goes through. Like, like it or not, mine's are 
Oh, what's a blank? It's <laughs> not so surprising, really. It's your first time in this position, and in that guise. Even a bright spark like like you is bound to flicker and falter in a, a little under the circumstances. Oh dear, this is a dismal failure. Don't fret. You need only use the knowledge you've gained as a judicial assistant to overcome the problem. Of course, the court record. Yes, the answer will be amongst all the key information about the case in the court record. That's right. So just use RB to open the court record. Then you need to flip to the people section with RB. And don't take too long over it. Uh, oh shit. His ecstasy is watching closely. Closely. All right, uh, post-mortem report. Time of death, just after 2 p.m. Death is believed to be due to the trauma to the victim's lungs lungs from a knife blade. Only a single wound it was identified. Giselle Britt. Okay, that I don't think is the same name. Let's look it up. Oh, wait, no, it was. Never mind. It was, it was, it was spelled differently, though. Was it Brett at the end? I, I, all I can see is her first name when I'm just like looking back here. Uh, Giselle Brett, female British, time of death, uh, 11th of August at around 2 p.m. Ascertained by examination and witness statements. Cause of death, single steep stab wound from behind, piercing a lung and resulting in a fatal hemorrhage. Yeah, even, even the word hemorrhage here. Again, uh, oh, I think that's actually an old English spelling there. Uh, death would have occurred within minutes. Uh, extreme meiosis, pupil constriction was observed in was observed in the victim in both eyes. Huh, pupil constriction. Would that be more indi indicative of a, like, in choked maybe? I don't, I'm, I'm not really sure though. No, 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 she, she, she was probably gasping for breath, right? Wow, wow. So cool that she starts off as the actual first victim here. Check the, car, check the core record with RB. That's where the information, the information I need will be. I'm waiting, counsel. What is the name of the victim in this case? Takets Taketsuchi Auchi. No, it's me, idiot! You Yuji Mikatoba. It's it's my father. <laughs> Giselle Brett. I'm sure the ones are funny, yes. but Yes! Yeah! Raising my hand! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> That's what she says. Yes! The name of the victim. <laughs> That might be one of my favorite explanations. Yeah, it's not. It's very simple. It's just a, yeah. That's definitely gonna be right up there with gotcha. The name of the victim who lost her life in this case is Miss Giselle Brett. Giselle Brett. A name that will never be forgotten in the courtrooms of our country. I'm sure. Correct. And being a member of our empire's judiciary, you will be well aware of the significance of that name. Yeah. So she was. She actually didn't go to jail, right? Because she was a, uh, she was visiting from out of the country. So she like, we proved it was her, but it was like, oh, but we can't actually put her in jail. If I remember correctly, it was a pretty like sour note to end on, on the case. So let me pose another simple question. As you know, Miss Brett was visiting student, was a visiting student from the empire of Great Britain. Why then is her name indelibly associated with our own empire's judicial history? Obviously, you won't, won't have forgotten that case from nine months ago. But if it's proving hard to recall the final points, everything you need is included in the court record. Obviously, I still remember. That was the start of everything. Giselle Brett, behind the woman's student's, pers student's student persona was the face of... Uh, a victim, Qu Queen Victoria, a killer. Yes. Yes. Damn, she does a good slam. That's how you do in our hood, right off the bat. Nine months ago, a visiting professor of medicine at the Imperial Humane University was killed, and the culprit was Giselle Brett. Yes, she was a killer. At the time, our country had just signed a new treaty with the Empire of Great Britain. And it was in the midst of this delicate diplomatic situation that the incident occurred. Yeah. An Englishman, Dr. John H. Wilson, suck my dick game, Dr. John H. Watson was shot dead. I believe he's an associate of yours, Professor Mikatoba. Uh, P Professor Mikatoba. Wait, who, wait, who's talking? Oh, yes, uh, I was, that was me talking. Okay, the judge. Yes, I was indebted to that, to the man. He'd been my mentor when I went to London to study forensic medicine. Indeed, it was I who invited him here to Japan as a visiting professor at the university. That's right. 
I am glad they're actually going back and covering this again a little bit, which I suppose makes sense since these weren't originally, you know, a compilation games. They were they were two separate games. Naturally, the murder of an Englishman on our soil was a matter the government wished to resolve rapidly. Indeed it was, which is why a secret trial was conducted here at the Supreme Court. Ah, oh, shit, a gun! <laughs> Eat shit, old man! A student the Imperial Yume University was arrested on suspicion of murder. A second-year English language student by the name of Ryunosuke Narahodo. And a Isagi was there to save the day! With the help of his best friend, a student lawyer, the accused conducted his own defense. Oh, that's right, that swan on her head was actually real. <laughs> it was still alive! And exposed the despicable crime committed by Miss Giselle Perret. Miss Brett eventually admitted to her crime. However, when questioned about the motive that drove her to doc take Dr. Wilson's life, she gave no satisfactory answer before the trial reached its conclusion. Yes, we're finally, hopefully, gonna answer that. Immediately after the trial, the British government brought its cons consular jurisdiction into play. We were able to sentence Miss Brett according to our empire's law. Oh, no, we were unable to sentence Miss Brett according to our empire's laws. It was decided that she would be removed to Shanghai, China, instead. Why Shanghai? There's a British consular court there. Correct. I oversaw the negotiations personally. The date of our tra of her transfer to Shanghai was se finally settled upon upon only last week. All that remained of our empire's obligations was to see the woman safely on board a steamship. Damn, sure does take. Even back in the olden days, it took fucking forever for shit to get done, right? God, nine months later, okay, now we're just getting around to that shit. And yet the very day before her departure, the English woman was killed! Or she committed Sudoku, one or the other! <laughs> I like how she mimics all of Naruto's animations. Oh wait, no, 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 actually, that's, that's actually her, re that's her regular, uh, a gas animation. But a lot of the ones that she's standing at the, at the, at the table is her mimicking, which is really fucking cute. Her mimicking Naruto. Only the day before? Shut the hell up, everybody. That will do. I'm satisfied the counsel for the defense is sufficiently capable of representing the defendant. You've answered two questions. Way to go. Oh! <clears throat> Thank you, Your Excellency. Over the first hurdle. Now, a summary of the incident, if you please. Prosecutor Ouchie. Ouchie! Oh, I still got my shit, man! I start with a T-pose, and I'm ready to draw my blade. I'm like 10 times more badass than Blackwell. That wannabe samurai bitch. As is your wish, your excellency. The repugnant crime took place on the 11th August of August in broad daylight. And what a beautiful broad daylight it was. On the outskirts of the Imperial capital, under a bright blue sky, a secluded bathing spot by the sea. There was even a little crab, and he waved at me. Prosecution. Sorry, sorry. The incident occurred inside a small beach hut, erected for bathers to rest or change their clothes. I like how even in death, she has a fucking wicked smile on her face. We actually never see her eyes either, like at no point. The cause of death was a single stab wound to the posterior abdomen that pierced the victim's lungs. Injury which proved fatal. Get fucked, bitch. See you in hell. There were two persons alone together in the beach hut at the time of the victim's death. Miss Brett, in her bathing attire, and the accused, Ray Mbobby. Accordingly, there can be no doubt of the accused's guilt, especially when we consider she had a powerful motive. She just had to steal that sexy outfit of hers, because she had just a onesie, like a fucking dirty peasant, not a sexy bikini like that beautiful femme fatale. Ah! Sorry, I have a thing for bad girls. Police arrived rapidly at the scene and promptly arrested the young lady. Ow, 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 smacking my head, starting to hurt. Well, seems like a quickie. Well, that extraordinary description of events leaves me somewhat lost for words, I must say. That's certainly true. The prosecution's summary was full of words that raised an awful lot of question. questions. As a lawyer, I really ought to pick up the prosecution... Up the prosecution counsel on what he said about. Uh, the bathing spot being alone together, a powerful motive. Yeah, what the fuck? What, what motive? You're clearly exaggerating. Powerful motive is a blatant overstatement. 
ta 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 is the yokel boy using long words he doesn't fully understand. I beg your pardon? No matter. Let's put this in this to the accused, shall we? Mibami san, you are a research assistant in the Imperial Yume University, I believe. Yes, I am. I'm working with Professor Mikotopa in his laboratory at the moment. I can confirm that. Defenders is an excellent assistant with a strong sense of responsibility. Fascinating to hear. Now, another question. Prior to your work with Professor Mikotoba, whose research were you assisting then? Oh, um, well, uh. Uh. I was sitting under do Dr. John H. Watson. D Dr. Watson? The English pr professor was murdered by Miss Brett nine months ago. The accused had a deep-seated respect for her former mentor, Dr. Watson. Is that not true? Yes, Dr. Watson was a wonderful man. Interesting. Then tell the court what deep-seated feelings you had towards the English woman who killed her. Or killed him. Well, obviously I was filled with hatred for what she'd done. A powerful hatred. Uh, uh Ray? <laughs> Man, I want to mention that. Oh, no, Ray. Ray, be careful what you're, what you're saying. Well, there you go. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> you made that shit easy for me, girl. The motive was revenge. Plain and simple, Your Excell Excellency. Hmm. Well, it was clearly a trap all along. How wicked of him to use. I like her, her name's even Ryutaro here. Wicked of him to use race under dying respect for her former mentor against her like that. I must find out more details. There's something we can use to bolster our defense. As a lawyer, I really ought to pick up the prosecution counsel on what he said about. Uh, the bathing spot. Um, if I may, uh, if I if I may, uh, Prosecutor Alchi. What do you want, you fresh-faced young local yokel student? I I wonder, could you explain, please? You mentioned a bathing spot. Ha! My apologies. Clearly, my modernity has confused the poor country bumpkin simple mind. God, seriously, why is this guy such an asshole? Not even Max Payne was this bad. Bathing spots are the very latest in trend in health practices from the West. We are told that bathing in the water of the ocean is curative, ther therapeutic, and excellent for the skins. No, that's not what I meant. I was referring to the fact that Miss Pratt had, to all intents and purposes, been found guilty of murder. Why would a known criminal have been relaxing by the sea? Oh. Oh, she deserved a spa day, you know, after a hard fucking year murdering. For old time's sake, I believe. Sorry. Miss Pratt was to depart for Shanghai the following day. Her final wish, as it were, was to enjoy a day at our country's wonderful coast. And the British Embassy put extreme pressure on our government to comply. Really? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if they had her killed. The, the British government themselves just had her killed because she like, oh, bitch, we can't have you going back to shit. We can't have you going to Shanghai or some other place to be tried and for this to come back to us in some way. But why? What grounds would we would we agree to such a request? Because, as usual, our government is unable to stand up to foreign powers. In regard in matters of diplomacy, it ma it seems we don't even have the courage to decline the whims of a known criminal. D don't look at me, Professor! It was the government who granted permission, not I. In any case, it was decided that with a dedicated detective on duty, nothing could go wrong. But, in fact, a murder took place. I, I said, don't look at me! It was that young student girl who did it, not I! Damn it! No one has proved that yet. I wouldn't provoke that man if you don't need to. Hmm. At this stage, I need to gather more information, I think. Okay. Uh, being alone together. Um, Bonnie son Bami son Yes, what is it, Susan? Uh, I mean, um, Naruto san I'm really starting to wish we had made my alias Ryutaro Susito. <laughs> Yeah, that would have made things a lot easier. Please tell the court why exactly you were present at the bathing spa with the victim in the first place. And why you were alone with her. Oh, oh, well, no, that's not true. It wasn't like that at all. Yeah! I like I like how just like Susan Toshi also goes into a karate stance. It's just their best buddies. 
That's cute. Maybe she'll come back to Great Britain with us afterwards, right? And they can toss Naruhoto together. The Suzuto toss and the probably the Ray Chuck or something. There were other people present. A detective who was guarding Miss Breath for starters. What, was it Detective Captain Shoe's uh, predecessor? <laughs> I was just asked to accompany Miss Brett as a companion. That's all. But let us be clear. At the moment of her death, you were alone together with the victim in the hut. You and no one else. The truth is, there is only one reason why this young woman accompanied Miss Brett on her, on her bathing sojourn. It was the accused's last chance to take the victim's life. No. Because, as we know, the following day would see Miss Brett extradited to the British authorities in Shanghai. And the accused would never have an opportunity to dispatch her again. <laughs> Call and refrain from conjecture, counsel. <laughs> I believe we all have a clear picture of the incident now. Despite her guilt being determined nine months ago, Miss Brett managed to avoid incarceration, instead continuing her research work at the university. Obviously, over that period, she and Ray would have encountered each other on a number of occasions. Seeing the murder of the mentor for whom she had such great respect, enjoying such an undeserved liberty. Yes, even if it was only temporary until Miss Brett's extradition to Shanghai. You can hardly blame Ray for her feelings of anger and resentment. Poor Ray. So, your excellency, if you'd be so kind as to peruse this exhibit, a ph photographic print that shows the scene of the crime immediately following the grim incident. Ah, fucking dead. Yes, thank you, counsel. A tragic image. Uh, does anything stand out? Uh, we got a suitcase over there with her little mass. Some dress, a tea, some ice, a bottle. Glass. She's got a pin in her hand, which is unusual. Oh, feathers. Feathers from her hat, I guess. <laughs> from the swan. Is the swan dead too? Wasn't he alive? As you can clearly see, there is nowhere. Oh, wait. Can I actually hide the. I'm going to hide the image here. No! What did I just do? Oh, I turned on autoplay. Fuck. Uh, as you can clearly see, there's nowhere within the hut that anyone else could have hidden. Let's see, is there a button to. Uh, I mean, I may I just check the controls in case I fuck up here? Weird, it's not actually showing it in the. Actually, not showing the controls here for the. Do they? I mean, it does support controller. And it's working just fine, but the, it seems like I, the controls are actually not in the menu here. I don't see anything that says hide menu, so I'm guessing not. The court will accept this photographic print as evidence. Uh, a photographic print of the scene taken by the police just after the incident. A stab wound in the victim's back is clearly visible. All right, let's have a look at it ourselves. Um, we do see some footprints. So it's just sand there, right? Yeah. A glass of wine that has fallen out. Yeah, the pin is unusual. I'm sure it's going to play into something here. Okay. As I understand it, then, the victim and the defendant were alone inside the beach hut at the time. This is deeply troubling, I must say. The finger of guilt points firmly at the defendant. Well, Your Excellency, naturally the prosecution has much more to its case. We intend to prove the accused's appalling actions beyond all possible contention. To that end, I can confirm that we have multiple witnesses to the crime and damning evidence. B witnesses? B b but who? Hopefully it's not the killer this time. <laughs> Actually, technically, I think we had, we had, it wasn't just her, actually. It was, like, two other, like, guards, I think, that were, uh, witnesses in the previous one. One of whom, I might add, is a highly respected police detective. I assure you, the testimony of these witnesses will leave no room for doubt. Were, were, they, were they also detectives? It's not going to be the same dudes, is it? Very well, then, counsel. Bring forth your witness. I, Tak Takatsushi Ouchi, have been awaiting for this moment. Sorry. Oh, yes. I have forgotten that trial nine months ago, here in this very courthouse, when that irreverent little student boy utterly humiliated me! Look at this! Look at that beautiful knot! Ah! us get our heart out! What? what? Yes? This insult to the Ouchi family name... Will never be forgotten! You become conceited with age, counsel. But the old the old have to stand aside and make way for the new. God, Sugi was so sick. It's the way of the world. 
May you never forget that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. That's what happened. I guess he just couldn't put that hair back up. Oh, he actually started growing a little bit more hair, too, in that spot. <laughs> Strike the head of a samurai whose top knot has been cut in the battle of cultural enlightenment tolls. Yes, on that fateful day, my former self died. Start of your own mini Meiji revolution? Are you modernizing as well, Council? Silas! Shut up! Since I swore revenge back then, there has been a m minor miracle atop my head. <laughs> Observe. The Ouchie Growth! Meow! Wow! Is it actually looking a little bit like a magnet Magatama? You see? You see a seed of hope sprouting forth from the barren expanse of my crown? I, I think that tiny growth is trying to tell me something. <laughs> Sorry, Bray! Um, I'm afraid I can't really see. Where, where is the hope exactly? I said silence! Today I face another yokel student of the Naruhodo clan. Well, I will vanquish you! And my victory will be fertilizer for the seed of hope atop my head. You have been warned. Yeah. And with that, the prosecution calls the witness to the stand. It looks like the stakes are high on both sides in this trial. The prosecution and defense each has much to lose. A haircut is hardly comparable to race life. <laughs> More hair to get blown away. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? What? No, that was the guy. He's back again. And so, what is that? Oh, that's right. He got, oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. I'm already loving this shit. So, okay. So that, no, that's right. It was the, there was, there were two guys, right? Twiddly and Twiddly and Tweedledum, I think. Like two goofballs. Um, there was the woman, right? The, the killer. And then there was this guy who kept coughing up blood all the time. That, it is the same dude though. It's the same dude from the first case. I believe I gave him a Yus a Yusuke voice. Um, and then we got a little buddy who we, uh, who we helped save uh, from in, I think the, was it the third or the fourth case of uh, the first game? And he, he did, he went back to Japan. Oh my God, that's, that's, so, that's so funny. Oh guys, gonna be gonna raise some goofy shit here. When this, please say your names and occupations for the car. Chief Inspector Sa Sataru Hosanaga, Imperial Police Bureau. I'm in disguise, obviously, so I can go undetected. <laughs> what? He's got a turtle on his head. Yes, we will never. That's, that's right. He, he pretended to be a server before. He's still got his little cloth. And I am, well, the next big thing in books. And not that. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta remember how I did his voice. That's right. It was a slightly Larry voice. Not quite the same level of Larry kind of toned down until he starts getting a little spastic. And I am, well, the next big, big thing in books. An author renowned throughout the capital. In fact, yes. <gasps> so be sold out. This is miracle. I am a cad. This is a choice that is my Soki Nozomi. Oh my God, there's a reporter behind him. Oh my goodness. Struggling student from the provinces. Please, you didn't be in awe of me. I need, uh, I mean, I needn't. It's only natural you, you feel nervous in my presence. But all of you, please, relax. Call me Saseki, even. Um, yes. What on earth is Saseki-san doing here? Tread carefully, Susato. The author fellow knows your, you from your time in London, doesn't he? Is, if he exposes you for who you really are, this will be over before it's begun. Well, saying it's her best friend and recognize her, I think we'll probably be all right. Yes, uh, yes, of course, I know. I presume Saseki-san won't, won't have forgotten about me. I could certainly never forget him. Although he does seem to have changed somewhat in the six months or so that it's been since I last saw him. He's got a different outfit. And he's written a book. Good for him. And for Inspector Hosonaga, that amazing outfit is hard to believe. Oh, it's a beach outfit. I see. Yeah, he's this is like the old fashioned like male uh, beach attire. And then he's got a, a cloth and a turtle wrapped on his head for some reason. Do I have something on my face? Well, your glasses for one, although they don't seem to be helping you, helping you see. Thank goodness he hasn't recognized me either. Ah, I suppose it's this disguise, is it? I thought that appearing in here in the clothes I was wearing at the time would make for a more faithful testimony. Is my guiding principle to carry out all testimonies flawlessly. Hmm, 
Well, I can appreciate why Imperial Police Bureau Detective might have been present. But what business did a writer such as yourself have being at the scenes of Seki-san? Ah, well, you see, I had been asked that day to give a lecture. On the morning of the incident, in the Imperial Yume University's Grand Lecture Hall, no less. At Yume University? After the lecture, I had a very pleasant conversation with a researcher from the med Medical Science Department. And the press professor over there, in fact. With my fa- and with Professor Mikotoba? Yes, that's right. It was arranged by one of the newspapers. They wanted some story or other about two former students who studied in Great Britain. Of course. Being a renowned, renowned author, the press never let leave me alone. <gasps> the secret is fine! Stop shots! Scuffle stories! And scuffle my prophecy! Ah, that's a good story out here. This guy's got a mark on his hand. Oh, this guy's the killer. <laughs> this guy in the back has got to be the killer, right? He's got a weird blue mark smudge on his hand. Which I first assumed was just like, oh, pin or mark from what he's writing, but he's not even rubbing his hand up against it. I don't know exactly how that's going to play into this, but very likely, probably the killer. <laughs> okay, so it's like this seemingly this reporter guy who's following him around, but in reality, it was probably a cover to actually act as a murderer. I think if that were the case, he wouldn't be still following him around, right? Huh. As you can see, the conversation was written up in this newspaper here. Read it at your leisure. My provincial struggling student friend. I have plenty of copies. Th thank you very much. You practically threw that paper at me. The Saseki and Asumi article has been entered in the court record, okay? Uh, all right. A newspaper containing an article about a discussion between my father and saseki son The debate became quite spirited. Oh my God. Oh, he's still got the cat. Ah, oh, it's cute. He's, oh my god, he's fucking dabbing on Mikotoba. Holy shit. Take this, Mikotoba! Ah! Super dab. Oh, the kitty. The little kitty. Good, he's, that's right. He, he, he started, like, we found the cat, right? And then he started taking care of him at the end of the, end of the case. Uh, well, it's all in Japanese. They didn't update anything here. So I'm not seeing any, uh, not off the bat. I can't really be like, oh yes, there's, this circle down here is going to relate to it. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. Uh, I think the background here. Oh, there's a crack in this picture. So there's a, I guess the lens had a crack in it. That's probably what's gonna play into, play into something. And the cat, of course, the cat. I'm curious to see if that the guy with the camera, if he has a crack in his lens. Probably does, right? Anyway, following my interview with the professor, the lady in question appeared and made a very unexpected announcement. I should like to go with everyone to see your country's ghost. Those were her words. As I explained before, Miss Brett was never taken into custody. She continued to work in my laboratory, under strict surveillance, of course, so she didn't kill somebody else. At which utterance, the university immediately contacted the government to seek guidance. And the response was, permit Miss Brett to go as long as a detective accompanies her. That detective I am at liberty to divulge was me, Chief Inspector Satoru Hasunaga. Thereby, I believe again, that's, I think that was the same name that he had in, uh, which again, I guess makes sense. It's fucking Japanese, right? In the Scarlet Study, uh, translation. Thereby, the entire party de departed cordially for the seaside, it seems. It was extremely challenging to clear all other members of the public from the vicinity of the beach. <coughs> oh God, no, he's still he's coughing up blood, isn't he? We never got an explanation for that either, did we? Just coughs up blood for reasons. Unfortunately, I'm at peak physical fitness at the moment, so I was able to carry out my duty flawlessly. Oh my, Inspector, you... Inspector, you... Well, you do have something on your face now. Oh, sorry, this is just... I just had a V8 before I walked in here. Ah, oh, I was slightly. I do apologize. Does that mean you, you went to the beach too, Father? No, no. Fortunately, I had work to finish off. Otherwise, I'd probably be staying at the... <laughs> I'd be the one standing up there, accused of murder. But fortunately, of course... Unfortunately, of course, it meant that as my assistant, Ray was invited to take my place. Of course, being a renowned author, I didn't like to decline the invitation. Uh, but what if I had? I'd never see that awful sight. Relentlessly racked by remorse and regret. Uh, look at the camera. I don't see a crack right off the bat, so. 
Very well. I must now ask you to present your formal testimony to the court. You will give an account of all that you witnessed on your impromptu excursion to the coast. <coughs> of course, Your Excellency. Relentlessly racked by remorse and regret, I am... I can't remember how they handled his, uh, his outburst in Scarlet Study. I don't know if it was alliterations like they're going with here. I think it was something different. Oh, I think he was, he waxed poetic, right? He did like, uh, haikus or something. I, th I think that's my bit what it was. Uh, the witness scene. On the day of the incident, I was ordered on a special surveillance assignment in this disguise. I just managed to catch that crab when I s suddenly heard a caterwaul from behind me. I ran to the beach hut at once, where I found the pair in question. Yes, yes, yes! That young girl was astride the English woman, dagger in hand, as she stabbed wildly! I saw blood on the blade. It proved to me that she'd stabbed the victim multiple times. Alright, well that's not good. Indeed, it does appear from the testimony that both witnesses here, pres pre here present saw it. The very moment of this heinous crime. What? Now, if you will recall, I promised to, to, I promised evidence as well. What phrase did I use again? Ah, yes, that was it. Damning evidence. The pen. What have you there, counsel? A so-called fountain pen, is it? Correct, Your Excellency. I found the scene with examining the body. It appears that in her dying moments, with her final ounce of strength, the victim clutched a piece of evidence that would positively identify her killer. What? Your Excellency, if you would cast your eyes over the photo photographic print of the crime scene once more. Yeah. Ha! Ah, goodness me! Yes, the victim is clearly grasping something quite deliberately there in her hand. That's right, the fountain pin. And if you would kindly examine the pin, Your Excellency. Ha! Ah, the owner's initials have been engraved into the ebonite barrel. R.M. Raymond Bami. The initials of the defendant. Ah! No! <clears throat> Damn, who's not gonna look good? This fountain pen will be admitted immediately as critical evidence. The pen that the victim was, was found grasping in her hand it carries the initials R.M. So, have I admitted anything? Let's have a look. Can I uh, do a full 3D examination of this? Oh, no, I can't look at it, but I'm sh I bet I w at some point I will. Decisive testimony and damning evidence. There's a bright blue sky outside the courthouse today. Perfect weather to ascribe guilt, I feel. Ow. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't understand. The prosecutor out here nine months ago had none of this man's poise. Well, he thought he did. <laughs> I don't know, he was just as arrogant back then, too. Counsel for the defense, you may begin your cross-examination now. <sighs> Naruhodo san Naruhodo? <sighs> that means... Oh, yes, me! Is there another Naruhodo in my courtroom? Actually, there isn't even a single Naruhodo in your courtroom. <laughs> Counselor Ryotaro, pull yourself together, please. All right, I've seen this countless times as a judicial assistant. Find inconsistencies in the witness's testimony to prove that they're lying somehow. That's all there is to it. That's how a real lawyer would handle a cross-examination. So let's see what I can do. All right, bring it on, not Edgeworth. Uh, all right, guys, I think I'm actually going to end things here for now. I already like the setup for this. Um, they're already seeing returning characters and a continuation of the first case from the previous game. And while I wasn't a big fan of the first case, ma mainly because for like the very first ga like case of a series, right? Uh, of like of any series, right? It, it seemed a bit long. It kind of went on a bit long and some moments just felt like dragged out needlessly. Um, it's a lot better in this instance now because now we have characters that we recognize, right? There's a continuing story and narrative. So I'm already immediately invested in it, right? If it ends up being just as long as the, the case from the previous game, I probably won't mind it as much because 
I'm already invested. So, but anyway, guys, I hope you guys are as excited as I am to uh, return to this uh, to this game series. If you are, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already. Become Piggy Penguin aboard this CLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.